Right, it's finally start raining. I'm going to get this YouTube done. Alright, won't be long. Uh, hang on, better take my coat off. Uh. Right. Right, hang on. What's that? Where's that got snack though? How do you get that off? How do you? Oh, come on. Off, come off. Come off, come off, come off. Uh, right, hello everybody. We're going to do Why Write a Book in a minute. to the channel first of all check the YouTube stats again and these videos are actually growing it's getting more and more popular which is good so on this video what I wanted to speak about is like the final background video is why I write a book well as I said in the last video this plan was actually done 30 years ago when I was in my late teens is when I come up with the idea and I lost my weight when I was in my early 20s and as I discovered in 2009, going into 2010 when I had to repeat the plan, it was a challenge to remember everything. So everything's written down. That's the first thing. The second thing is speaking to doctors from the NHS to nurses. They're constantly saying, you know, whatever it is that you're doing is a great idea. You need to write it down, share it with everyone, uh, which is what, in effect, I'm doing. I've decided to do it in a book format because I think that will reach more people. The YouTube format is starting to gain interest now, which is good. Um, definitely not doing that. Everybody's just saying, well, you won't be working here in 12 month time. You're going to be a millionaire. I'm not doing it for that. I'm just doing this as a sole publisher, as a uh, author. And the ultimate goal is not to actually create a book, which is then going to become some sort of business, which is then going to go forward to making money constantly off people. It's just a book which could be your best friend. The size of it we're just looking at now to make it pocket book size so we can actually um, have it in your handbag or have it in the car, you know, what, you know, any, a quick reference guard. Uh, but the main thing, like I said before, is that not only was I suffering from weight issues, but I did have children and they could have started with the weight issues. Luckily they haven't done, but I'm sure there's people out there which will have these issues need this book and these ideas so basically that's it so what I'm going to do is extend the video by doing a few extra sections sad stories so as we know uh, oh I've got myself a drink <laughs> there we go my little drink look little whoa I'm getting ready for me all the days in a bit not yet though so I'll have that so as this book's getting, or this idea is getting more popular, I am coming across people, especially people with diabetes type 2, just saying, will this help? And the answer is, yes it will. Uh, I'm going to do a, a longer video about my personal experience with the diabetes type 2, and also try and get across what the business and sector is talk, saying about it, and also what doctors are saying and even potential investors which I'm not taking on board but basically it definitely helps people with diabetes type 2. Other people so just generally walking into the, around the streets uh, I mean I was in our prayer the other day and this guy was chatting around us listening joined in and it was just a, a girl well a woman who's always had health issues uh, weight issues you know similar story to man he weren't convinced it was just weight he was just saying that she's a sort of girl she's constantly drinking she smokes a lot uh, but she doesn't help herself you know she uh, she basically doesn't want to change her lifestyle which I think most people have to it's difficult uh, I mean you know it's just one of those things so as, the, as the, basically the conversation progresses that she's just kind of given up 
Ah, uh, she weren't bothered about her weight. She was just out every night. She was having the alcohol and the bingo sessions and the party sessions. Uh, to just blank it out. Also, just smoke lots and lots. And he was just saying two weeks, two three weeks ago, she went to work. She was in an office job. She was just at a desk. I uh, literally said, right, just getting up. Want a quick brew and then dropped. And it's that sort of person that we're trying to help. So, sad stories, the diabetes, people with weight. Um, also, there's a few anorexic people saying is that uh, they want to try and tone up. It's that they want to lose weight, they still think they're fat or they're constantly hungry and they don't know what to do. Obviously, people just say, well, eat, but I appreciate it's not that simple. So, we'll include that. Uh, so, on the brighter side, is I was speaking to Dan the other day and he was saying is that he knows people on diets and it's just going to be another diet what you're doing so he didn't even know what you know why would I bother and then interestingly enough he was saying well how much weight have you lost and at that time it's five pounds from his first inquiry and he's saying yeah but you're eating like sausage and you're eating senior wheat chips uh, how can it be any form of diet and like I said is uh, you know, it's, it's not, it's doing something differently and instantly responded by saying well I'm interested now <laughs> which is a great reaction you know and it, it's encouraging uh, I'm open, I may have had a few Facebook comments and questions which I'll go through in a minute but it is really really encouraging when people contact you ask for you know ask your opinion on things um, the downside is because obviously the book it's restrictive at the moment and I think the next thing to do is a uh, quick section on the book where we're up to. <clears throat> Alright, so straight away, I'm filming this at night, as you can tell, the lighting's a bit different. Uh, and there is some instructions and we're getting cars coming through, so this video will be edited, <laughs> probably quite badly edited. So apologies for that. Where am I up to with the book? Right. It's a long process, so I have now registered as an author. I have now registered the book against its ISBN number and the book is now in print format rather than just on a PC somewhere and there's four versions of the book just in case one disappears or any gets leaked uh, I know it's very unlikely but you never know uh, so originally I wanted to, the book to be about 120 pages uh, it's been reformatted now and it's standing today at 164 pages there's still things to put in there I'm not gonna I'm gonna kind of try and sample things I'm gonna reference things I'm gonna try and encourage the reader so that if you want to know more things you know in this specific area especially for the background then you know Google it uh, do a little bit of your own research uh, hopefully some of these items will become YouTube videos from the comments that are given but obviously that's in about a year's time once the book has been released uh, you know and it'd be, it'd be a better opportunity and then the final section of the book is course is the cover so the front cover has been designed and finalised about two weeks going through the process now of sizing the cover putting the backing on, sorting out the spine which is kind of exciting for me because you suddenly see this idea this 30 year old idea starting to take form which is an absolute wonderful experience to do but I'm also conscious is that this book needs to be finished and we're not quite there yet. So that's the book update. Uh, I've got a sheet, I'll just grab a quick drink. I've been shopping today and yeah, I need a drink. <laughs> yes, you can drink on the uh, on the plan. Right, a few questions. Uh, question and answer session. So I've had a question from Zoe, which is just basically saying, do you have any tips for losing weight? I'm currently on a diet. First of all, hey Zoe, nice to see you. No, it's not in person, but you know, it's been a long time since I've seen you, it's very nice. Uh, the, quest, the answer is no, for two reasons. One, like I've just said, is that the book is going through its process before absolutely anything can be disclosed from the book itself. It needs to be copyrighted, which will be around the time when it's proven. So you've got to be very careful. The second reason is because, like I say, it's doing something different. 
it's more of not what you drink, not what you eat, it's more of doing habits, like the title says, can you actually control weight, and then being controlled by lose or gain weight, with habits rather than dieting, and that's what it's about, so there's not really any tips. I'm going to touch on a few habits, pre-book copyright, it's going to form some interesting videos, so it gives you a rough idea of what it's all about, but the main uh, habits will be in the book, and once again I can go through those once it's been produced, uh, and we'll see what happens. Got another question, uh, some are just general questions day to day, some are actually via email, so if I don't quote names. Uh, right, so next question is from John, which is saying, are you going to crowdfund for the book? Well, uh, writing the book is proven to be very expensive at the moment, um, probably just over a thousand, maybe thirteen hundred pounds uh, in the red if you like. Uh, but what I've decided to do from an early stage is self fund the book. So I've got a pot of money which will cover, you know, a good few thousand to write the book and make it into a book and promote the book. Uh, so the answer to that question is no. I am aware of crowdfunding uh, sites. So for example, Patreon site where we could do these YouTube videos and they get to see it first. Or Indiegogo, where you can actually people can pay you for a comment in the book or have the name put in the you know, there's different ways of, of actually raising money for the book and in effect crowding it, uh, crowdfunding it. Uh, I'm trying to stay away from that as much as possible. What I am doing is that in the next month or so, there will be a Facebook page which is going to be created and that's going to hopefully encourage more people to get involved with comments, questions. Uh, the next video will have an email address in the comments box uh, so that once again people can see a video and put comments in YouTube regarding the video, hopefully positive, but gives you an opportunity to actually email your questions in, which then can be looked at and maybe put on video, very similar to what we're doing now. And then there will be a web page which will be created. I'm actually currently looking at creating it now. And I'm hoping that's going to launch probably in six to eight weeks. However, there will be sections on the web page which relates to copyrighted material. So some of the links simply won't work. You just get a message saying this is subject to copyright. Uh, once again, once the copyright's been finalised, and probably before the book is actually launched, those links will appear. Uh, they probably won't be in a great deal for people, but they will be on the on the website, uh, you know, and you can download things and get more information, things like that. Next question is from Karen. Uh, what sort of foods do you eat, or how are you doing the plan? Well, the simple answer is any food. Uh, in the book, there are foods that said, you know kind of stay away or you're advised not to eat for certain reasons uh, some medical and some uh, which relates to the plan but to answer that question it's probably going to be the only plan where you can have absolutely anything uh, which is a good thing but are you including portion sizes in the plan simple answer no and the reason why I say that is okay, if you're a person, you're on a diet, you have a portion size, one of the big issues is simply feeling deprived. What well, I could have done with an extra chip, what well, I could have done with two pies instead of one, what well, I could have done with a, you know, an extra piece of bacon on my breakfast. And that plays on people's minds and eventually they just convince themselves they're hungry, eat more throughout the day, um, it's a bad idea. Food's controlled in a special, in a, in a, in a way, kind of an old way. Uh, but I'd rather do it the way I've done it rather than say, you know, you're limited when you eat food. Right, next question, an old question from Dr. Shetter, which was, is this the water diet? Well, really going back to Dan's comments, you know, <laughs> you're having sausage and you're eating what you want. Uh, the answer is no, it's not the water diet. I will be covering the water diet or the zero calorie diet, it's known now, in probably two videos time where well, I'm going to try and introduce the God Diet News uh, but the answer is no, it's not the water diet 
So I do have one final question and I did pre-record it from this tape. Uh, so I'll play that in a minute and that will close the video. Uh, once again I just wanted to say thanks very much for uh, you know, showing support when I'm walking around the street and I know people, people are asking how is it going which is wonderful. Asking the old question which is also great. Uh, you know the response has been very very positive and, and I think that's an absolutely wonderful thing. Uh, what we need, what I need to do now is do the next video. Like I say, uh, Nielsen has now gone through the books registered so things like the title can't be pinched and stuff like that. So the next title is going to be all about the book. So it's the title of the book, uh, when it's going to be released, you know, it's, it's the two key things. Hopefully, I'm going to actually do that video quite quickly because we're in the conservatory again. As you can tell it's not raining now so there's no drips which is wonderful but the conservatory is going to have a refit so all the side panels are being replaced to so make it quieter and better you know for videoing and just general family life it can get quite cold in here. Uh, so I'm hoping to do the next video and I always do that. I've noticed on the video so kind of and it's really aggravating. Uh, so <laughs> I'm sorry about that it's just a bad habit. So the next video is going to be all about the book. I'll sort that out and probably even possibly tomorrow uh, so it'll be up this week and then that's going to be followed by diet news which is another opportunity to do the video in quite a little bit differently it's a bit more experience for me uh, and it will be probably a two to three week break after that and that's going to be time to actually get every bit of information in the book and then start doing the line, uh, line editing and getting it closer to an actual copyright state which is all exciting so what I'll do now I'll pass you to myself on an earlier video so last question for why I write a book is actually from my daughter Nicola and you can always trust family to get in trouble to do a YouTube channel and she just simply puts dad you spoke about us all you mentioned me Nicola you mentioned Kate and you mentioned Leanne did you miss anybody? Well, the answer is yes I did. And I missed out this little fellow, which is Chelsea. And Chelsea's my first granddaughter, which is Nicola's daughter. And she's a lovely little thing. So, going back to the question, why write a book? The answer is, or the best answer I can possibly give is for the next generation, and even Chelsea's generation. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon. The next video will be out in a couple of weeks. And until then, bye bye. You say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. You know?